we are in a BMW i8. Uh, normally, I don't test fossil cars, but this is an exception, like the previous video. So, uh, you know, I'm just curious because I want to know what the electric range is. So, the range in electric mode only. Uh, this car has a 7 kilowatt hour battery, well, 7.1 kilowatt hour. And uh, only 5.4 kilowatt hour is, is usable. And the car is pretty streamlined, so it should have a very good CDA value. Uh, but what about uh, the rest? Yeah. So um, right now the GOM says I have uh, 29 kilometers of range. So it's going to be a very short range test. So I will cruise at 90 kilometers per hour, which is uh, 56 miles per hour. Uh, to simulate, yeah, I'm not going to drive 110. Uh, I cannot do it right here, but at least 90 kilometers per hour. So then we'll see how far we can get on electric only. Yeah, so let's wait a little bit more. I, I think I don't I don't want to wait for 100%, but just 99 ish percent, then off we go. Uh, okay, I waited a few minutes and I don't know what the heck is wrong with GOM. Uh, now it says 27 kilometers, but according to uh, the state of charge, we are uh, almost, well, it seems like 100%. Yeah, so. Uh, I guess I'll wait a little bit more, see if it stops. If not, then uh, I will just start driving. Oh yeah, we are driving now. E-Drive is active, which means that it's only running on the batteries. And, um, oh look here. I don't know if you can see it, but oh, it's kind of hard to, sh to show you, but uh, it has a head-up display. Oh yes. And uh, well, the consumption is very high now because uh, when I was charging, I was not able to preheat or keep the heater running. No matter what I tried, I tried to fire up the car, the heater was not running. So that's unfortunate. Uh, so the consumption is very high in the beginning, but at least it should stabilize after a while. And it seems like we are already down to 70% state of charge after driving 5 kilometers. Oh, oh, oh. At least we are going downhill now, and uh, the consumption is also dropping. So this is probably going to be my shortest range test ever. Yeah, but let's see, are we getting range back? 18 kilometers. Yeah, the, the digits are really slow. Huh? 17, what? We are losing range. We're supposed to gain range here, not lose them. Maybe, oh, no, maybe the heater is using so much. Oh, yes, of course. We have already turned back now. We have about, well, so it seems like 50, maybe 52, 53% state of charge. And uh, yes, let's head back. Okay, let's accelerate slowly. Oh, shit, shit. I'm low on juice. Oh, man, man, I should have done this. Should have done this. Look, look, look. I have four kilometers left. Hey, wait a minute. I have a gas engine also. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, well. Let's push it down to zero. Yeah, let's deep discharge it. We have been driving for, I don't know, 15 minutes only. And we are almost out now. So, um, according to the GOM, we have one kilometer left. Well, I have to zoom in. Everything is so tiny here. Okay. Oh, no juice left. Okay, we have uphill. The gas engine is supposed to start soon. Oh, there, there. Yes. All right. That was it. 23 kilometers. 21.7 with uh, 217 watt hour kilometer. Wait, I think. What was that? Are we still on? I'm not sure now. Are we on electric or? I think that was it. I heard a little bump. And I think it switched over now. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. See, E drive is off. All right, so that's it. <laughs> Let's go home and I will do some quick math. Oh, this, this is kind of cool. Okay, so um, it seems like I switched on sport mode and now the sport mode is charging the battery. Let me see. Oh, it's colors are a little bit off here. Okay, but see, uh, the, we have been charging the battery. It's close to 25% already. It's tiny battery. And then if I hammer it, you'll see here, it will use the, it will also use the battery or the electric motor to heat, I mean, to, to help uh, boost it, see? E-boost! <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool, yeah. The fossil engine needs some help from the 
from the electric. Yeah, but of course, if it wasn't for the fossil engine, then we would have been stranded. So yes, both fossil engine and electric goes hand in hand. Let's try again, let's try again. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Okay, hammer it. Yeah, the region, region. Seems that we are charging the battery. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we are back home. So yes, I look at the numbers again. So we managed uh, 23 kilometers. Averaging 217 watt up kilometer. Hmm. Uh, that could probably be because of cold car. Now, one way I could have done this is to to um, charge it to almost full and then drive around with sport mode. Let's say at least 15 minutes or half an hour uh, without you know using the battery and then plug it in and charge it to 100 percent because then the car is warmer. So in that way, yes, I might have stretched it further, but you know. There's not going to happen any magic here and uh, like we get like double the range uh, So I think this is what you can expect, you know, um Yeah, <laughs> really low range for this. Oh, what the heck? Go on. There. Yeah <laughs> uh, Really low range on, on pure electric Yeah, so um, I guess the whole point of this, you know, pure electric mode is that you can drive around uh, you can do like your commute or whatever, you know, go to the grocery store or whatever and drive on pure electric. And I guess, I guess it kind of works, but uh, this thing charges slow, so slow, only uh, 3.7 kilowatt, I believe. Uh, I haven't checked the spec, but based on when I charged it, it was super slow. Uh, and also I managed to get only 5 kilowatt hour out of this battery pack around there around 5 kilowatt hours Yeah, so that was as expected according to the spec is 5.4. So yes, but um, Yeah, I guess that's it a BMW i8 range test <laughs> Yeah, so talk to you guys later